Want to know what you should be eating during your eighth month of pregnancy? Hi, my name is Melanie McGrice and I'm a perinatal dietitian. Today, we're going to talk about what you can eat to optimize your diet and exercise during your eighth month of pregnancy. Stay tuned. Your baby has now grown to about the size of an iceberg lettuce and is pretty much fully developed. The next few weeks will purely be about plumping her up. She'll start moving into the birth canal to be ready for delivery. This means that you'll be able to breathe a bit more easily, but the pressure on your bladder and bowel may increase. Constipation and urgently needing to wee are among some of the biggest concerns at this stage of pregnancy. So this is the time to focus on your fibre intake. Make sure that you include plenty of insoluble fibre in your diet. That's the skin on fruits and vegetables and the pips, seeds and stringy bits, as opposed to soluble fibre, which is the fleshy part of fruit and vegetables. And it's also found in bread, rice and pasta. Tips that I give my soon-to-be mums are to leave the skin on fruits and vegetables wherever possible. Eat a piece of fruit or veggie sticks at every snack and include vegetables or salad at lunch and dinner. Also, try to increase your intake of whole grains and choose higher fibre unrefined options like brown rice and multigrain bread. These less refined whole grains also contain more iron, which is another huge advantage at this stage. If you are feeling constipated, prunes, sultanas, figs and other dried fruit are particularly rich in insoluble fibre and can help to get your bowels going again. Now I know that you've started to wee more, but you also need to drink more water, not less. Being dehydrated will make your constipation worse because you'll end up having hard dehydrated poo instead of soft, easier to evacuate motions. Also, urinary tract infections can be another inconvenience at this stage and are more common when you're dehydrated. Carry a water bottle with you at all times and keep sipping away. Your wee should be clear or the colour of a Sauvignon Blanc, not a straw-coloured Chardonnay. Aim to get through a minimum of two litres of water by the end of each day, although many of you will actually need more than this. And if you've got a UTI, you'll actually need an extra 1.5 litres of water on top of that as well. Now remember, if you are thirsty, you're already dehydrated, so drink before you get thirsty. Whenever I think about constipation, I think about the three Fs, fiber, fluid, and fitness. Exercise is great for constipation as it helps to get the muscles around the bowel moving. A couple of classes a week is not enough to prevent constipation when you have a three kilogram weight sitting on your bowels. Aim to exercise daily to reduce constipation, even if it just means going for a 20 minute walk. Now I've put together a seven day pregnancy meal plan to help you eat more healthily during your pregnancy. To download it now, all you need to do is click on the link below. I look forward to chatting to you again soon. Mwah. Especially if you've got a uterine... It, well. Your wee should be the colour... Oh, should be clear. <laughs> Chardonnay! Or... Uh, I think that's going to put people off Chardonnay forevermore. <laughs> that's the skip... The three F's. Fibre, fluid and fitness. Far, 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 far. Constipation. Just about everywhere. <laughs>